Hey guys, Jim Rose here with Sound Pro Live RPM Dynamics. About a month ago, uh, I told you I was working on a solution for a Midas Record rig. I was trying to put together a rig that would do 72 channels of Midas 96K 24-bit uh, digital recording. Uh, the only other solutions that are out right now are a Clark Technic DN 9696 that does 96 channels bidirectional or the network bridge solution they have, the DN 9650. Uh, the, with that option at 32 channels you need to convert to 48K. There aren't any external cards from the third parties that support 96K over 32 channels for that device. Uh, so I was trying to find a solution that would do enough for me to run a Pro 6 full 96K straight across the board for both record and playback. What I have sitting here right now is a functional rig. As you can see I've got 72 channels running and I'm going to mute my direct outs on channels 1 and 2 and as you can see the audio went away. I've got uh, 36 channels of left and 36 channels of right being bussed down all of my AES-50 outputs of my console on the on the work surface. As you can see my CPU is idling, my record uh, levels of my hard drive, it's not stressing at all and we have a full functioning rig. Like I said, the way that I've accomplished this is I've taken the direct outs of channel 1 and 2 in my patch bay and I've sent it down all 72 of the AES-50 outputs of the console. 72 channels of AES-50 into the computer. It's doing its job. We have a functioning rig here. We'll show you the playback and uh, show you a little bit of how this thing went together over the next couple of weeks. Thanks. As you can see now, we've got 72 channels that we recorded through the Pro 6 running playback. CPU is barely moving, and the performance of the hard drive is incredible. I'm sending these 72 channels out of my DAW back into my Pro 6 right now via the tape return inputs. Uh, Pro 6 has two inputs. You can either use your head amps or you can use a, a second send as a tape return. So I'm sending 72 channels back into the console via those 56 inputs and the 16 direct ins for my aux send so that I can get a 72 channel return to the console and show you on the meter bridge what's happening. I'm also running Digital Performer through the KVM switch on the other screen so that I can have both running next to each other so I can show you guys a little more what's going on. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mute some channels in my playback. I'm going to turn these playback channels off and as you can see as I'm turning these channels off in my DAW simultaneously the Pro 6 is following. Let me turn these back on. I just wanted to give you guys a real-time view of what's happening right now. I have a functioning 72 channel 96k 24-bit Midas record solution for both playback and record. The playback per, uh, part of this is pretty important. A uh, bunch of people are using these consoles, live digital consoles, to do virtual sound checks. And uh, if you want to do that with a Midas, you have a couple of solutions. The first one is a Midas 9696 hard disk recorder, Clark Technic. It's very expensive. All it does is record and play back. It'll do the job. Virtual sound checks, you want to send back to the console what you were listening to through your head amps. If you use that device, you get exactly what goes in, goes out. They have another solution called the DN9650 Network Bridge. At 32 channels, that device needs to convert to 48K because there are no third-party cards that carry uh, 96K over that point. Therefore, uh, if you're using it for virtual sound check on anything over 32 channels, you're going to do a conversion of your audio into your DAW. Then you're going to do a conversion back. It'll probably still sound pretty good, but it won't be a Gazina Gazata, and you won't be listening to Midas 96K Digital for your virtual sound checks. This device will do this. As you can see, we've got a functioning, affordable rig that will do everything you need for that. Another good function of this rig is, I'm, I think I mentioned earlier, you can take this workstation with you outside of your shows to start working on editing or any of your show files that you want to mix down, start putting your stuff together. Your whole rig is one package right here. Over the next month, we're going to show you some of the stuff we did to put this whole rig together. And um, I hope you enjoy this and I hope this is something that you guys can use in the future. Thanks.